Hi everyone. So you've just lost a node in your NSX management and control plane cluster. How do you fix that? Stick around and we're going to cover it. Two different ways. See you in a bit. All right, so let's talk about um, how do we recover from a single node failure. So just a little quick, quick review here. Um, on my screen, I'm showing the, uh, the management and control plane uh, cluster, right? So you'll see we've got uh, three of them deployed here. So one, two, and three. I may have a virtual IP, whether I'm going through a load balancer or not. Uh, technically, it doesn't really matter for, the, for this video, right? So uh, just as a quick review, uh, again, we've got three nodes deployed in our management and control plane. If a single node fails, right? If that single node fails, we still have quorum and management and control plane are still functioning. So that's okay. But what we're worried about is if another node fails, then you've got problems, right? And I'll talk about how we recover from that in the next video and I'll leave a link or leave that a little link for that towards the uh, towards the end of this video so you can watch that but right now let's just focus on how do we recover from this single node failure here so let me switch over to um, my lab environment and let me just uh, skip this and let's go into uh, I'll go into system here I'll go into the uh, appliances and we'll give it a few seconds to load up. <clears throat> and you'll see, um, basically, I, I've got an issue here. My cluster is degraded. Um, number one is actually, again, I've got my, my first node here, 41, and my second, dot .42. And my third node here is basically, you'll notice it's unavailable, so there's a problem. And it's basically, you know, triggering a few other alarms here, right? Uh, if I go into actions here, I go delete, right? It says proceeding with this may delete the appliance from the from the disk. Let's try that out. So that seems pretty straightforward, right? Um, uh, let me add in the appliance now. Um, let me go back in and re-add that back in, um, and then I'll show you the other way if this didn't work. Okay, so let me just go back in, add appliance. Let's see what happens here. So this will be site A dash NSX MGR03. Um, dot v class dot local and I'll put in the IP I'll speed this up because if you should have seen that video on me creating it and uh, oops and the DNS and all that stuff is good small is good I'll go next to deploy it pool host I'm gonna put on host 3 and this network is going to be management. And then we go next. I'll enable this, enable this. So we'll let the appliance install. Um, I'll get the cluster back up and going. And. Um, Give it a few seconds there, it's installing. So this is the ideal situation, right? There are situations where sometimes that doesn't work. Okay, we could see that it finished installing. Uh, node three is back up and running. Um, and it's actually over there on the far left hand side. Uh, let's show you the, the, another way to do this, okay? Okay, so that seemed pretty straightforward. Doing it through the GUI is probably the most ideal way of doing this, right? Uh, it's nice and easy, but suppose if the GUI's not working, suppose if you're unable to delete it from the GUI, suppose if you didn't use vCenter Server as a compute manager, none of those would be an option for you. So you would have to manually go in and remove that node from the cluster from a command line and then you would have to go into the new node that you deployed via an OVF, right? And then have that new node, jo new node join the cluster, right? 
I'm going to walk you through that right now. So this is step number. This is option two. Okay, everybody, uh, let's take a look um, at my environment. Uh, I've killed one of my nodes. So let me go into a uh, system here. Let's go into appliances. And we wait for it to load up. And uh, you can kind of probably see in the background there, one of my nodes is, has a problem. So um, you'll see I got my three nodes. Um, dot 41 over here on the right is green. It's okay. Dot 42 on the left is, is green as well. Uh, you see my cluster is degraded. But you'll see the third one here, the dot 43. That's my NSX Manager 03. It is, it's red. Okay, it says it's unavailable. Uh, so that... Uh, means like well whatever it's gone whatever the case may be I, I basically went in and I deleted it right uh, now for the most part I was showing before it's pretty straightforward you just can go into actions and you can hit delete notice this, it's grayed out for me if you're unable to do it from here so you do delete it once you delete it you just click back on the add appliance but box and then you add in the replacement it's pretty straightforward but if you're unable to delete it like I am now and one of the reasons for that is Notice it says at the top here, compute manager is required to deploy any of the appliances below. Um, I set up this cluster without using a vCenter server, uh, without using compute nodes. All right. So it's not, it wasn't aware or it's not aware of that. So how do I get rid of this now? Well, this is where if and for whatever reason, this interface doesn't let you delete it. You have to connect to the cluster, the, the, the cluster that's running right now. we got two nodes running, so we're still okay. So we're going to connect to the cluster, and uh, we're going to remove this node, this bad node. Then you would redeploy this node manually. Uh, okay, so let's take one step at a time. Let's connect to the cluster. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to connect to uh, Manager 01. I'm just picking that one there. Uh, it's one of the appliances. It's up and running. Let me close this so you can get better... So I'm going to type in get cluster status. And uh, the status of the cluster will be up. It'll be degraded. You notice it says here, again, various services are degraded here. OK? And you'll see all that. But what we notice here on the far right, we see that manager 03 is down. So when you look at all the different services, manager 03 is down. Now, another thing I want to point out, Let's go back to the top. Um, you'll actually see it lists the UUID, the Universal Unique ID, for each of the three nodes. So my manager 03 right now, which is down, or actually it says status unknown, it's down. Uh, there's the UUID of it. Let me copy that. Actually, let me copy it this way. I'm just going to highlight it. And at that point, it's copied. So what I now need to do I can't just go in and add that in. I need to actually remove this. And since the, the GUI is not available to me um, in this example, I'm going to actually manually go in and, um, and and remove it, right? So I'm just going to type in detach node. And this is where the UUID comes in. I'm going to paste that in. That's the node, the UUID of the node. I'm going to hit enter. That should be it, right? Let me give it a few seconds. It's going to probably take a little bit longer than a few seconds, to be honest with you. So it's going to go in and remove it. So what we've done here, we had a three-node cluster. One of the nodes died. I went into the GUI interface, and I tried to remove it. And for whatever reason, again, it's not going to let me delete it. And the reason for that is I didn't do it. I didn't deploy it using the, the uh, compute manager. So just in case the GUI, right? Um, yeah, so here it says node has been de detached. Uh, detached node must be deleted permanently. What does that mean? By me running this detach this node, if I go, oh, you know what? It, it just came back up. Um, I can't reattach it. It's going to say, sorry, you removed it. Throw it away. So if you did this by accident, you can't just try and reattach an existing, that, that original node. You're going to have to blow it away and recreate a new one. Okay, so watch out for that. Don't run this. The only time I would run this is if I know that node 3 ain't coming back. If it's down, the host is down, and... The VM, you know, you just got to bring the host back up. Uh, don't run this command, okay? Uh, this is, you run this command if you know that that VM is destroyed, it's not coming back, and it's faster for you to just redeploy a new one, okay? So just be aware of that. So if I actually go into get cluster status now, let's just see what the status is. Notice now, again, 
the status it's showing me up let me scroll up on the screen here you can actually see we have members in our cluster we only have two nodes now okay so that's good all right and everything everything is showing stable here so my cluster is stable but I only, it's only a two node cluster so if any one of those nodes fail now I'm dead in the water so that's not a good thing so let's add back in a third node a new third node um, so we can have quorum okay if that makes sense okay so um, let me connect to my third node let's go to servers is here yeah manager three so this is an appliance I deployed so and I let it come up I, I wait 10 minutes or so for it to come up actually if I show you something if I go get cluster config sorry it's cluster status it actually is its own cluster so again this is the same way you would deploy this appliance like you would deploy your first manager so I'd mainly deployed this and now what I want to do is say oh no you're not running on your own you're going to join the cluster that has nodes one and two in it so I'm going to tell it I'm going to use the join command I'm going to type in join um, then I want to type in the IP address of my I'll say my first node 172.20.10.41 that's my manager one then I got to specify the cluster ID cluster dash ID well, what's that so let me go back to my cluster let's go back to node one here and let's type in well, get cluster config this is one command I can run to get it spits back a whole bunch of garbage at me um, and node ID where's it? there you go right here's right up here at the top is the cluster ID so I just want to copy this so by me just highlighting come on by me just highlighting that I copied it I'm using empty putty so I gotta go into node 3 paste that in did I type in that command right yeah I thought I missed an ID there cluster ID and then um, thumbprint thumbprint let's go into back I need the certificate thumbprint let's go back to node one let's type in get um, certificate oops certificate API thumbprint thumbprint there's the thumbprint let me copy that there we go I just copied it I'm gonna paste that there's so I join put in the IP address of my my first node the cluster ID put in the ID of the cluster the thumbprint put in the thumbprint of the cluster then I got to authenticate to that cluster so user ID will be admin password be VMware one bang VMware one bang if everything goes well I hit enter to make any typos looks like I made a typo Make my typo. Thumbprint. Oh, I see where I made my thumb. My my mistake. User name. There we go. So now it comes up, and it basically tells you data in this uh, node will be lost. Are you sure you want to do this? So, <laughs> no going back, right? So this is node three. I'm on node three. Yes. I'm going to do this I hit enter and at that point I give it a few minutes to do its uh, its thing so right now it's joining the cluster now what could happen while it's doing its thing what could happen is you could notice that node 1 and node 2 might temporarily disconnect because we're now forming a three node cluster uh, let's actually go and see well I'll minimize this and uh, let's just uh, go in here yeah we don't don't see it going offline but you might notice it would be very brief okay uh, but again this is management plane control plane so it's okay it's not it's not affecting your data plane okay folks data is not flowing through here so um, let's go back to here and, and we wait so basically just a waiting game so we'll just there we go operation successful services are being restarted cluster may take some time to stabilize let's type in now get actually I'll go back to node one 
get cluster status. We should see it's now a three node cluster, but all the nodes shouldn't be up. Yep, we see it's a three node cluster. I see three nodes here. Uh, you'll see, it, these are showing me all the different services. Okay, all the different services running. And you see, again, node three is showing down because it's starting to start things up. That's okay, don't freak out, don't panic, right? Uh, but we do see that the node is up. But when we talk about the boot manager service, right, it looks like, again, oh, it's up on node three. So that's one service that's looking good. If we scroll down and look at the, uh, okay, so the boot manager's up. If we look at the controller, this is the central control plane. Notice it's showing degraded. And again, on host three, it's still showing it down. So it's starting up those services. So basically, go take a coffee break. Come back in 10 minutes, right? And it should be back up. Everything should be back up. So let's just, um, I'm not going to sit here. I'll, I'll probably accelerate this uh, for you folks so you can see it, okay? Hello, everybody. Okay, so I waited a little while. I did some other stuff, to be honest with you. I don't like staring at the screen. I walk away for a while. If I, again, I'm on node three. If I check the status of the cluster, everything is showing up, 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 up. Again, I'm looking away over here on the right side here. Everything is going up. It took about 10 minutes, roughly, right? My environment's not the fastest. Um, if I go back to, let me close that. I don't need that stuff open. Let's close all that. If I go back into the web interface, I see my cluster is stable. I see I got all three of my nodes up. There's an alarm there. It's probably on resources or whatever. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter. So um, that's basically it on how to get it back up. If there's just a one, a single node um, uh, failure, most of the times you can just go within the, the, um, the GUI here under actions and delete, uh, which I kind of showed you that a little bit before. That's probably the easiest way to do it. But if you're unable to do that, then this is your next best bet, okay? So single node is okay. It's usually pretty straightforward to recover from. Uh, two node or more is usually a little bit more panicky. Uh, stick around and watch, uh, watch the two node one. That'll be coming up. And um, there's a little bit more work to do there, but it's not the end of the world. And it's actually not that difficult, to be honest with you, okay? Uh, but I'll show you that in a separate video. Thanks again for sticking around. Thanks again for watching. Uh, again, if you stuck around this long, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is how I can um, uh, contribute to, um, uh, you know, with the videos and stuff. I got a bunch more coming up. Um, and that's it. Thanks a lot. Have a great evening. Good night. Bye-bye.